Hello everybody, today I'm going to be giving a quick little tip on Logic 5, and that is setting up a template, basically, every time you open Logic to use. And what how you do that is you use the audit load file, and you save it once you're done. And lo the Logic uses the auto load file as the thing that it loads up every time. So. This is my auto load file, and this is what it started off with. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty basic, and I don't need this stuff down here. And I need a lot more audio tracks. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone, convert these to audio tracks. To do that, you just left click on the name, and then audio track, audio, and then the corresponding track you need. I'm just going to drag these up. The whole point of this is getting everything how you want it. So I would make a lot more audio tracks because I need a lot more space to work with. And I might need some more instrument tracks. To do that, you go to Functions, Track, Create with Next Instrument. Okay, so let's just say I did all that and have tons of tracks up here now and the next thing we'd need is the transport and it gives you this huge uh, transport thing here and I don't want this this big so I'm gonna make it way smaller that's better and as you can see it has a bunch of different functions you can play with turn stuff on and off just basically get it how you want it and that's good right there. Another thing you could do is you make a certain genre of music. You'd want to put the tempo as uh, the tempo you use mostly. And I make drum and bass, so I'm going to put it 174, which is the tempo I use a lot. Now, going with that theme, you could even go so far as to load a some drums or something, or whatever you want to get a track going. So here's a break I have the correct tempo and just get that looped and there you go now you're ready to start writing some music and that's pretty much how I want it let's say so I'm gonna save it there's the auto file just save it and the next time you open up logic it'll look exactly like this and that's it I plan on making a lot more videos especially on logic because I remember when I first started using Logic, maybe forever ago, I think it was probably eight years ago now, um, there was a huge learning curve and I needed a lot of help with tutorials and whatnot. So I also plan on doing videos for uh, Reason, Cubase, Melodyne, um, WaveLab, Adobe Edition. So if you have any suggestions or questions about any of those, let me know, and I'll be glad to help.